Hi Scorpio, this is your March 25th or the 31st weekly tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love coming into your life. Uh, spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past and uh, in the fourth spread we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and uh, we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread which is what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Tower, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have Death <laughs> with the uh, Ten of Cups and the Star. And we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Water. Cancer, another Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, we have an Aquarius. But you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. I have a feeling you already know this person, Scorpio. I'm talking about this King of Wands, the fourth card from the left. Yep, so it could be a, a fire sign, near is near Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, it could be somebody who is very active, proactive, <laughs> somebody who is easy to get up and go. Maybe this is somebody you used to work with. Right? For some of you, yes, it could be somebody you used to work with. And uh, you may run into this person all of a sudden out of the blue, or they may reach out to you out of the blue. Right? Or perhaps um, you start a new job and this person already works there, or the other way around. They start a job that, and you're already there. You could be going to like a work conference or something like that, or you could be going in a business meeting and this person will be there. Right? So it feels kind of like that. You know, because in the middle right there we have the Three of Pentacles. It is a card of collaboration and cooperation, right? It could be a card of when a circle of close friends get together. Or it could be work, business, and finances associated, right? And uh, the King of Wands themselves is clarifying the Six of Cups, which is a card of somebody from the past. It's also a soulmate card, but I think you definitely know who this is. Uh, the first card that came out is the Tower, which is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The thing about the Tower, it's one of your major arcana cards, Scorpio, <laughs> right? But if we want to stay general, the Tower is something that happens very, very unexpectedly. That's how I think uh, that Tower will play out. And I already went through uh, some scenarios. Unexpectedly, out of the blue, this person is going to show up. Somehow, you, you know, it's like a blast from the past. Blast from the past, right? The Nine of Cups clarifying the Tower could be a card of a wish come true. Okay, wish come true. It's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And uh, the Nine of Cups could be a card of a party, right? In some tarot decks, in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around the table and celebrating. In some other uh, tarot decks, in the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating, right? If this King of Wands is an Aries, it could be their birthday this week. It could be, right? Um, we have uh, the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. Uh, this is the most loving, the most romantic knight out of all four knights, right? So I think when you run into this person, uh, sparks will fly. <laughs> Perhaps you had feelings for this person in the past, but it just uh, wasn't meant to be back then. This time around, the two of you definitely have a chance of making it happen. In the potential outcome, we have death with the Ten of Cups and the Star. Death is your major arcana card just like the Tower. <laughs> so you're in this rating at least twice. But as some of you already know, the same card could be interpreted multiple ways even in the same spread. So death is your major arcana card. You're in your own potential outcome. Death is also a card of transformation. So your, life, your life will never be the same. The Ten of Cups right next to you is a card of a family, commitment, marriage. That card is often referred to as the uh, happily ever after card. And the star right next to the deck yeah, it could be an Aquarius. You know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. And so I think you will have everything you ever wished for with this person. Okay, Perhaps you wished for this person to be in your life back then whenever the two of you... Uh, already knew each other back then in your previous life <laughs> or when you used to work together when you used to hang out together what have you right um yeah wishes do come true this is exhibit a right here wishes do get granted all right scorpio really happy for you congratulations if you are already in a relationship or if you are already married, Scorpio, uh, this part is for you. We have the Ten of Wands clarified by the Hangman. We have Judgment clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Hierophant and the Two of Wands 
on the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Taurus, or whatever your person's zodiac sign is. Well, Scorpio, it's a very particular, very specific spread, very particular reading. And uh, what I keep hearing is time is up. Time's up, Scorpio. You have to make a decision this week. And uh, I don't think this is anything new. Uh, perhaps you've been putting it off, putting it off, postponing it, but this week time is up, you have to make a decision. Or perhaps both of you do. Alright? Yeah. That, in the nutshell, that's what the spread is all about. This week you have to make a judgment call. You see that judgment card right there? Yep. <laughs> that's it. You gotta make a decision. And uh, the Ten of Wands clarified by the Hangman, the first two cards, it's not gonna be an easy decision. Or perhaps it's just been dragging on for I don't know how long, right? But this week you have to make a decision. The Till once on the bottom of the deck is a card of somebody having to make a choice. The Seven of Cups, Clarifying Judgment, it could also be a card of multiple options, right? And uh, the Hierophant right next to the deck, this is what it's all about. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is like a very official, very formal card. It could be a card of education, religion, spirituality, um, anything, or marriage, or what have you. And uh, it has something to do with that Hierophant, right? And um, it could be anything, anything I just mentioned. Again, religion, spirituality, family, commitment, marriage, education, um, something maybe traditional, right? Maybe you have to baptize a child, I don't know. Uh, anything. But time is up, all right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X, or it doesn't even have to be an X. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know what, Scorpio? I have a very strong suspicion that this is a repeat of the first spread. <laughs> In the first spread, I definitely saw somebody coming back from the past. Right? Then this is supposed to be an X spread or somebody from the past spread. This looks very similar. <laughs> right? The Knight of Cups is here right next to the deck. I, I think we had the Knight of Cups in the first spread. Okay. If this is somebody else, if, the, if I'm talking to another group of people, another group of Scorpios, and uh, you have somebody, and if you have an, an actual X coming back to you this week, then uh, yeah, you two will still reconcile. <laughs> you see that Queen of Cups in the middle? I assume that's you. And uh, as I was clarifying the Queen of Cups, I asked how will uh, Scorpio feel about what's going on and the Ten of Cups showed up. Yep, you're on board. It's a family card, commitment, marriage card. Alright, you are on board. <laughs> we got a couple of aces on the table, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Right, uh, the Ace of Swords is the word yes. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. Is the Six of Swords clarifying it? Yes, let's move on. Let's move forward. The thing about the Six of Swords, this card always talks about things getting better, things improving. Alright, so perhaps this person coming back into your life will make your life better. Okay? And the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a golden opportunity. This card sometimes is a card of a proposal, marriage proposal, or like, let's get serious right now, that type of energy. Right? And the Knight of Cups is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all for knights. So, yeah. It's either, this spread is either a repeat of the first spread, or if you actually have an ex coming back to you, um, yeah, you guys are getting back together. And this feels new. <laughs> this still, yeah, this is, it's kind of ironic, right? The first spread, we had that Six of Cups in it, so that kind of made me feel right away that this is somebody from the past. This feels brand new. <laughs> All right. Perhaps when this person shows, shows back up, yeah, it could be like on, uh, on new terms. On new terms. All right. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Scorpio, this week. We have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the World. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, I have some bad news and some good news. Good news comes last, okay? Um, if you just recently got rejected, or fired, or, or, or laid off, I'm not predicting you getting laid off or fired, but if uh, you just recently went through something like that, or if you got rejected, you have something new, something better coming your way. As a matter of fact, that's the, uh, that's the only way to interpret this. Right? We have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which is a card of a broken heart, and uh, this is you probably 
feeling sad and even devastated. Uh, we start with the Nine of Swords, qualified by the Five of Wands. The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is stressed out and uh, very upset and crying themselves to sleep. The Five of Wands, qualifying it, is a card of competition, okay, or a card of a conflict. Um, but the good news, like I said, um, you've got something new coming your way, right? The world, kind of in the middle right there, is a card of an ending, okay? So something is about to come to an end, or did, right? And uh, the thing about the world, I usually interpret it as a card of a happy end. So the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands, whatever it represents in your particular case, it's coming to an end. It's, it's, uh, it's done. Here comes the Knight of Pentacles. This is the real deal offer. Okay, a new job, a new something, a new contract if you run your own business. Perhaps uh, if you do run your own business, you were hoping to get that contract with another company, it fell through, but you have a new contract coming your way. If you are, you know, if you work 9 to 5, then you got a new job coming your way or a new something within the same company if, you, if you're still employed by the same company. So cheer up, it's coming your way. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Scorpio. We have uh, the Page of Wands, uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Fool and the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, Scorpio, fire signs love you <laughs> this week. In the first spread, we had the King of Wands. In the last spread, we have the Queen of Wands. <laughs> I don't think it's the same person, no. But uh, I kind of briefly mentioned during the first spread that you could be going to like an Aries birthday party, right? And this spread right here most likely is an Aries birthday party, right? The Queen of Wands uh, on the bottom of the deck is most likely a fire sign, Aries the Sagittarius. And uh, the Page of Wands is an invitation. And uh, the Three of Cups in the middle, I find the Ace of Swords, is a card of a party. So we got... Fire sign, Aries, invitation, party. <laughs> okay. Sometimes tarot is easy. Not all the time, Scorpio, but sometimes it is as straightforward as it gets. All right. Um, and I think you're gonna go. All right. The fool, by the way, right next to the deck is an Aries major arcana card. Right. So I assume it, for most of you it's an Aries birthday party. For for some of you maybe it's another fire sign. Who wants to hang out who wants to go to a concert or go out dancing or what have you but this is definitely some kind of a party and you're being invited to and i think you're gonna go okay <laughs> yeah this looks like good times right the three of cups the fool these are good times and uh, the fool could be a card of being spontaneous Okay, so um, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.